it is. Okay, <laughs> sorry. What's up, guys? I'm Sammy, and today's actually a science project day for me. We're supposed to be telling a little bit about a kingdom, and then an organism about that from that kingdom. The kingdom I was assigned was the fungi kingdom, and the plants you see in front of me is the organism that I talked to you all about today. What is the Amanita muscaria? I just don't know how to pronounce or better known as the fly garrick or the fly amadia amanita okay i got it <laughs> let's start off with the fungi kingdom the fungi kingdom is consists mainly of organisms that are decomposed in the environment some of them are decomposers but most of them are at least poisonous fungi were once classified as plants but there are two major differences that made them stand out one the cell walls are different and two wait the cell walls are different instead of cellulose the plants have they use shit in i believe now two they don't make their own food like plants do through photosynthesis photosynthesis i'm flipping up a lot today sorry <laughs> even though fungi were once classified as plants they have more in relation with animals as you can kind of see around me <laughs> that's not an animal though <laughs> <laughs> They have more in relation with animals than they did with plants, even though nearly none of these organisms move around. Fungi can vary in many different shapes and sizes from small, like bacteria size small, but they aren't really bacteria, to ginormous. Like some of the largest organisms on Earth, ginormous. And they have really, really complex eukaryotic cells. Fungi can be used as medicine food and decomposing dead organisms by decomposing the organism the fungi are feeding themselves so basically but the fly gara gets its food in a different way it starts out as one of its spores which is those white dots you see on there on a plant or well technically on a fungi <laughs> and like those spores kind of fly away by the wind or and or is carried by an animal and it lands near a tree which is usually like a birch or that's not a pine tree but like usually a birch tree or pine tree in the forest and with its roots in the ground well, starts to grow of course like it starts growing upward first like it starts growing straight upward at first before the um like the red hemispherical shell thing like it's not really a shell shell but like the cap the cap the cap just kind of expands. So it looks kind of like a tadpole, basically, after it is fully grown. But the roots are always much larger than fungi itself, of course. The agaric's roots kind of like spread out to the roots of the tree, and that's how it gets the food. It just robs on the tree like the poisonous fungi it is. That little crime itself is actually a, um, physiological adaptation but it also feeds off of deceased organisms as well like other fungi as you can see the fly agaric is usually one that's very common in fairy tales ah, I'm so good. <laughs> fungi is, this one is usually very common in fairy tales especially and like other stories like right here in minecraft like you can see it it's right there that's it that's it that's literally it <laughs> And, um, so the red cap isn't usually always red. It can vary from, like, red to orange to yellow to brown, depending on how old it is, mainly. And then the gills are the, um, under the cap are stripy things to see. And then there's the stalk or the stipe that grows first above land from the spore that will land it, as I've told you before. Me more spores are released from the gill after it becomes a, um... Not a tadpole, well, I was wrong before, I'm sorry. But like a tad stool or something like a bit of a stool. And like more spores released from the gill. And that's how more spores are just carried away by the wind off to another place, or maybe right next to this mother or father. Um that's how more are made around the ow. That's how more are made around the world is mostly in Europe and Asia. Monsters better not bother me. Okay. Um. It may not be used for much in Minecraft, but in real life, it's actually used for pest control in some medicines. 
and it provides food for some insects, yes, even though it's deadly to others. And so if you were to remove them all from existence, wipe them off the face of Earth just like that, you'd be losing some pest control medicines and killing some excess insects. And maybe some fairy tales now that I think about it. It's actually also eaten for religious and rec recreational um, hobbies, I guess. That's not really the right word I would go to, but it's the best I could find. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's not poison enough to kill someone, but it does make you hallucinate and get very sick. There are very few, like, cases where people have died from eating fly garrick. Well, that's, um, <laughs> a lot of information taken at once. But after all that brain processing thing, why don't we see what happens to some of these when these grow? There we go. Oh, wow, that's actually a lot taller. Anyways, you can see there's the spores, of course. There's the spores. Um, can you please get out of here? Thank you. I'm moving over here. Okay, so you can see that, um, that these are actually the gills. Like, most of these are the gills. It's a stalk, and then you can see where the old spores, where the newborn spores basically were. And, well, that's literally it. <laughs> Let's see what happens if we on one of these because like I think one of these would like represent like a dead fly garrick yeah that's pretty much it that's that's pretty much how the um finished fly garrick would um grow to be like it would grow to be um like eight to ten centimeters tall and it would pretty much like flatten out into a stool at the end of its growth like this isn't exactly the fly garrick but it's kind of like its structure kind of shows what, what the fly garrick really looks like, whatever it's fully grown, except for the colors, of course. The colors are completely different. And now for the heck of it, enjoy, ah, enjoy some mushroom cows. Hello, mushroom cows. Do I feed you these? Maybe not. Okay. But anyways, that's actually all I have for you guys today. Um. So thank you guys for watching. I guess I'll see. Really soon. Ciao!